ready! Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to Game 9 of Backyard Baseball Season 4. Last game was absolutely insane. If you guys haven't seen it, well, the YouTube VOD is up now, and uh, definitely check that out before checking out this one. Unless you're here live on stream, in which case, no, you stay. You stay, you gotta get those arty bucks. Mar Pablo was really feeling sick yesterday, <laughs> or last game in Game 8. He had minus 16 across the board in terms of stats, so here's hoping he's back up to snuff. We're here in Ekman Acres again, and we're going up against the Rangers, or not the Rangers tomorrow, but the Angels today. Rangers are our arch nemesis. They're the only other undefeated team in the league, so I'm really hoping that we can beat them up come on uh, come Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Well, here's hoping that Pablo has better stats. Let's see. I know we're at least at Ekman, Ekman Acres. Pablo is back to normal. Yes, he had the, he had that juice. <laughs> he ate his chicken before the game. That's good. Kenny is also back to normal. Charlie Brown's feeling fine. Pete's feeling fine. Uh, Angela's feeling fine. And uh, Kimmy's got those increases because it's her home field. Reese is good. Marky's good. And Annie has a minus one in batting, but that is fine. We can accept that. All right, let's change our batting lineup to reflect what it should have been previously. We'll keep Kimmy relatively high up in the lineup. I think that this is probably fair. Actually, hang on. Okay, Marky's only a f Marky's a four at running. I feel like Marky is slower than that, but apparently not. And our fielding still looks good, so let's check out their roster. The Angels have Vic Souffle. Oh, it's the Souffle. Will he rise to the challenge? Let's see. He's decently fast. Chandler Huggins. Okay, Henry Huggins is easy. Ezra Travolta, not too bad. Mariana Ralph has some increases, so she's a little more dangerous. Not too bad, though. Butch Sherrod. Oh, he's not. Why is Sherrod on the mat? <laughs> he's a six at pitching. He's really good at fielding, so why? Oh, they got Stephanie Morgan, but she's not such a much in this game. Although, she does have an okay arm, so maybe as catcher, that's not the worst thing they could have done. Jordan Thorner. He's got some speed on him. Mo Vaughn. Okay, he's got a decent power, but as far as pros go, he's not too bad. And then, okay, Felix Grant is the only one we really have to watch out for for batting. They've got some pretty decent batters, but beyond that, he's the only one who's capped, so... Alright, this shouldn't be too difficult of a team, I don't think. Stephanie's not going to be the best catcher, but she's also far far from the worst, so... I think we can... I think we can work, work with this. I just... I don't know why they have that... I don't know why they've got Butch as the pitcher. I mean, technically, I don't think they have anyone higher than a 6 at pitching, but, like... No! Mo Vaughn should be the pitcher. He's he's the highest stat. I don't get it. Oh, let's see if that there's let's see if there's anybody in their batting lineup that we could get double plays off of. So who are their slow? Okay, Chandler Huggins is towards the end. Felix Grant. Okay, if Felix doesn't get a home run off of us, then we definitely should let him get the first because Chandler is garbo, and they're both a free at running. Where's Ezra Travolta? Okay, Ezra has decent speed. Okay, Felix and Chandler, we might get a double play off of. That's good. I'll keep, I'll keep that. Mm, I'll keep that in mind. All right, I am definitely feeling a lot more optimistic about this game than I was about game eight. We don't have the big decreases. We're on a good field, and their team is not super stacked. I'm feeling good. Let's start. Let's get the party started. It's time to get down with your favorite baseball players. Sunny Day here, along with Vinny the Gooch, welcoming you again to Backyard Baseball. Vinny the Gooch here, along with Sunny Day, welcoming you again to Backyard Baseball. I just said that, Vinny. I know, but I think I said it better, with more pizzazz. Playing sure. A game are the Anaheim Angels and the Crazy Bombers. This season has been solid for these kids. They've been playing some serious baseball out there. And they have a lot to be proud of. Not to mention, it's looking good for the playoffs. I think we're all ready to play some baseball. Let's hear you, Bomber fans. Woo! So the Bombers versus the Angels. I mean, the Angels have the moral high ground, but we're going to blow the high ground up. So I'm not too worried about this one. Although that could be our downfall. We don't want to get cocky. All right, folks. Let's blow them up and get the win. Pitch 
Oh, is the, we start with the souffle! Vic Souffle, will you rise to the challenge? I know I made that joke already, but it's too good not to make twice. Alright, Angelo, let's get this. Vic Souffle, he's got decent speed, but he's not too good at batting. Right hook again, let's get the out. Boom, he swung way too early. Nice job, Angela. Looks like Vic Souffle fell flat. All right, Jordan. These guys have low batting averages. Oh, we get the fireball early. That's great. Ooh, a bunt. Oh, he's got some good speed. What was that, Angela? Why did Marky not pick up the ball? Marky had the ball, and then it just teleported into Angela's hand. Wow, that was embarrassing. Whoa. Uh, wow, he just... Is he using a bat made of rubber, or is he that strong? I have never seen this pro in, this, in season mode before. I mean, it's not like he did anything good to get the double with the bunt, it's just my team sucked, and also the ball appeared to teleport out of Marky's hands. Alright, Moe's out. This is why I don't like Angela nearly as much as Lisa, because Angela has no arm. After, as soon as you exit pitching mode and into fielding mode, she all of a sudden just can't throw the ball at all, which doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. We just got to beat her to the base. Really, Marky? You can't run that fast? Really? Maybe we should have thrown it home. But I thought Marky could at least put a tiny bit of speed in it. What the heck? I'm not even that upset with Marky. I'm more upset with Angela for letting him get all the way to tr... <laughs> Reese, you better grab this. She was not safe! You're such a liar. She is not safe! Not even a little bit. Charlie Brown is literally just beating up Reese. Don't beat up Reese. Beat up the ump for making that terrible call. Oh, great. Angela has literally no stamina at all today. Kenny, get her. What the heck is going on with my team? None of my team has arms today. What the heck? This is embarrassing. Just because we're back up to 100% doesn't mean you can drop the ball like this. How many times did I throw the ball and they just were like, uh, Oh, I dislocated both of my arms. I can't throw. Embarrassing. At least, well, they got one point in the first inning. Alright, Pete, we're gonna use a grounder because Stephanie actually does have an okay arm. Chunk! Okay, run. I don't think he was safe, but because they let her get to second, I'm okay with this. The ump is clearly not Pete Wheeler's dad anymore. I'm not swinging at that. Dane! Yeah, Stephanie's got a good arm. Reese, why did you turn the bat upside down just so you would mess up again? I don't get it. All right, Reese, hit it into the outfield. Oh, nice hit! Okay, nice single, Reese. That's good. Pablo's. Oh, Pablo's actually got some invisible increase today. Oh, he took an off day, but now he's back up to 110 percent. All right, Pablo, free run shot here. No outs. Literally no pressure. All right. <laughs> the pro's like, I'm just going to let him get on first. Very solid, guys. Well done. We tied up the game. All right, Angela, you got the power behind it. Unfortunately, she's very tired already. Runners on first and second with nobody out. I'm gonna smack this one for sure. Well, let's let's hope you do, Angela, because a home run would be pretty nice here. Chunk. Okay, that was too late. 
darn, that was a good pitch. That was literally right down the middle. The wind up, pitch on the way. Wow, that was really low down. Come on, Angela, you got this, baby. That's not a good hit. Is that an infield fly? It's not an infield fly, for some reason. Probably because it wasn't infield, it was a foul. Or just because the game does not know how to code it properly. Wow, their third baseman ran all the way home for no reason. Alright, Andy, you, you're minus one in batting, but that doesn't mean you can't still hit a line drive, right? You can't beat out Annie Frazier. Well, actually, you can. Kind of easily, but Annie's a solid player all around. We hit that right at his black heart. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! <gasps> Reese! Yes! Wait, what? Pablo, I did not tell you to move! Okay, they let him go back to second at least. I did not tell Pablo to move. I told Reese to do the slide. Oh, doggone it! We're actually gonna go line drive with Chuck Brown. Because that seems to be better than power. Alright, you at least made it to first. Oh, yes! Kimmy Ekman! <laughs> way, way to go with the backhanded compliment there, Vinny. That was amazing. Alright, Kimmy, it's your home field. You got the increases. I know that was a strike, but that, there was no way she was getting a good hit off of that. Come on, Kimmy, you got this. Doggone it. That's too low. Way too low. There we go. Oh! What a hit! Don't catch it, though. Come on. Darn it! That was so good, though, Kimmy. And Angela is still gassed. I even heard the crack and everything. Oh my gosh, she's losing a substantial amount of juice every time she hit, throws a ball. This might be one of those games we got to swap out for Charlie Brown. Yikes! I might just have to throw a bunch of slow balls. Because at least the slow balls are not making her lose that much juice. Good job, Angela. Nice strikeout. Let's hope we can get a juice box. <laughs> Alright. It's time for Travolta. We take the pressure and just move away. Oh, good. We got the hot, we got the heat and we got the cold. That's good. Kimmy has still yet to get a full-on actual home run. Wow. Okay, Travolta. Darn it, you hit it into Rabbit's Carrot Extractor again. Yikes. If I had a juice box, I would absolutely throw a fireball here. But I don't, and so I won't. Okay, Kenny, you're supposed to have a decent arm. Beautiful! Good teamwork. Okay, it's Felix. Oh, shoot. Well, this is our. This normally would have been our double play opportunity, but not today. Bat has gotta have a great eye to smack one of those babies. Alright. That's good, Angela. I wanted Kenny to get that. That's good. We get the out. I don't care if you fell on your butt. Okay, here we go. Three All-Stars. The boy, Kawaguchi, and Pete. Or as I like to call it... No, I'm not. <laughs> or as I like to call it, the Free Stooges. Alright, Marker, you've been off your game lately, boy, but uh, you can definitely hit it in the outfield today, right? I'll try, Paul. Marker, you swung at the wrong time there. You, you swung a little too early. Maybe it's because I was distracted, Paul! <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I'm just trying to help, you know. 
<laughs> Just let me concentrate, okay? I can do this. <laughs> Way to go, Marky. You're wearing the white pants today. <laughs> I'm just not gonna swing, is that okay? No, Mark, you gotta hit the ball. You gotta, you gotta hit a home run, make your grandpa proud. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> uh, are you sure, Dad, Bob? Actually, Mark, maybe you do wanna hold out for the walk. <laughs> maybe that would be a good idea. <laughs> Marky's helicopter parents. Oh, that, Ump, what you doing there, Ump? No part of that was really in the strike zone. Doggone it, Marky! <laughs> Darn it, they kept throwing balls right on the skirt of the strike zone. Alright, Kenny, we're going line drive because maybe we can get it a little dis distance. Maybe. I don't know what the mentality was for making Kenny, like, the third worst batter in the game in this. He's not supposed to be that bad at batting. Look at that! He didn't even, like, hit it. That's just a glorified bunt. That's what that is. Alright, Pete. I mean, let's go power. Why not? Maybe we can get a one-run homer. Uh-oh. No. That's a dumb way to end the inning. Doggone it! Bet I catch Chin Hook! Oh, absolutely. The kids' theme songs add so much to the game. If there was just generic home run music, it w this game would be you know, much lower quality. <laughs> just for that alone. Yep. That's good, Angela. The problem is you're not consistent about it. Alright, Souffle gets a second chance to rise. I wonder what... <laughs> Like, what nationality would you have to be to have the last name of Soufway? Oh, great. Angela gets... To, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm throwing this to Reese. That was a mistake, Soufway. That was a mistake. <laughs> French. <laughs> Chef Pierre Soufflé will rise again! Do you, does anybody else remember that's the series of, like, Cheetos commercials that, like, tried to give lore to the Cheetos world? Like, it, it went on for, like, years. Where it was like, oh yeah, like, like it all started with, like, Chester the Cheetah, like, having a bake-off against this, like, French chef named Pierre. And his Cheetos were, like, better than Pierre's souffle. And then there was, like, just this, like, two-year-long set of commercials that, like, expounded on this lore of, like, Chester go of like Chester the Cheetah going to, like, the Amazon and stuff, and then, like, at the end it's revealed that, like, Chef Pierre was, like, this supervillain who was, like, trying to get revenge because he lost in the Quebec off. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> Cheetos has lore, but, uh, it was weird, but also, I, I remember it, so... <laughs> Good job, Cheetos! Chester baked Cheetos out of the oven. Heck yeah. <laughs> I tried baking Cheetos the other day. It did not work out. Reese, let's go power. What do we got to lose? Yoink! Yo, that was too low. It's impossible to tell because sometimes it's touching the bottom of the base and it's like, that was a strike. It's almost like there's no real way of telling if something's a strike or not. We've got the power. <laughs> Peptoro the strong man's power shake recipe. It would be a, it would be a funny lore continuity if one of the power ups was Peptoro's secret power shake increases your power and arm strength. <gasps> Mix spinach pears and beets together. It makes you strong. It doesn't. All right, you walk, Pablo. Maybe not a bad idea, but uh, he's going to steal second. And with that, we can probably get Angela on first. Oh man, Angela, when it's a home field and she's wearing the white, she even looks like she even looks the part of Luke Skywalker. From the windup, pitch on the way. Low ball one, breaks for it. Jeez. 
When? Okay, I'm sorry. Since when has Stephanie Morgan had that good of an arm? When I picked her on my team in the previous season, she did not have that good of an arm. Whoa, what a crack! I mean, easy pop fly for them, but... Okay, one thing I've noticed about their team, they're... I was going to say they haven't made any fielding errors, and then they literally just did. But they haven't, like, dropped the ball in a dumb way. Her arm strength is 56 out of 100? Then explain why she's, like, shooting it out of a cannon to get it to second base. Really? Really, Annie? That's a slow roller. Uh, wow, low scoring game. It's Von Van Hunter. He okay, he must be using like a nerf baseball bat. Oh there we go. Angela got her juice back and we got a juice box. Oh great, it's Angela. Oh my gosh, Angela is such garbage at fielding. It is actually disgusting how bad she is at fielding. There we go. Mariana Rowe steps up to bat. One out. Like, I can't even call her the best pitcher in the game because just because she is so bad at fielding. Ready now. And the pitch. The swing. That's a foul. Well, I mean, she's also not the best pitcher in the game. We all know Mr. Clanky is the best, but he doesn't really count. From the stretch, fire. What? What? Are you serious? Who's this lady? Who is this lady? She's not the, she's not capped at batting. She's not even close to capped at batting. So how the heck did she do that? I don't even I don't even remember who that was. Like I read her name, but I do not remember her name. Who was this? No, seriously, who the heck was that? Okay, who the heck was that who just got the home run? Mariana Rose. She got plus one in batting. I guess she's eight at batting. That's pretty good. So I guess it's not un it's not impossible. Come on, Kenny, this is all you. Booyah! Alright, Sherrod. Ball. In the air. Nope. Denied. Nice job. Kimmy and Marky are a good duo. Angela is kind of bringing the team down a bit. Oh, and speaking of bringing the team down, hi, Charlie Brown. All right, Charlie Brown, line drive. Can you get it at least past the infielders? Hey! That, okay. They, the shortstop just knew we were going to hit there and was just magically there. Kimmy! How about a home run? That would be nice. Let's let's. I'm holding you to that. They were an eight at batting. They got a home run. You're an eight at batting. You can get a home run. Otherwise, we're gonna have to rely on Du Bois. And Du Bois pulls his weight, you know. Darn it, Kimmy! That is the Kimmy specialty. She can barely even get caught. What? He juked us. He was like, oh, I dropped it. Oh, psych. Wow. We can't lose to this team. This team's not even good. That was not a strike. Not even close. You're such a liar. If I ever got Mr. Clank on Oh, no. Not a walking in the air moment. No, no, no. If I ever got Clanky on my team, I would probably. <laughs> if I could give him a battle droid voice, I would. Roger, Roger. Okay, Marky. I kind of wanted you to hit it a little harder than that. That's an out. Doggone it! And we haven't even gotten a chance to get a double play yet. The bombers trailing. Bombers are really 
really living up to their name. We're one point down, Vinny. And popped up. No, Charlie Brown, don't push the kid in the wheelchair out of the way. And a nice catch. She's out. Ooh. Okay, yes, double play opportunity. Cool, okay, here's what we're doing. We're walking Felix, he's really slow. Next character up at bat is bad at batting and bad at speed. I'm debating doing something kind of risky. I am debating putting Angela in the outfield temporarily just to make sure that my infield all have good arms. Because if the ball gets hit to Angela, there's a chance we won't get the double play because she has just such a terrible arm. The problem is if I put her in the outfield and it gets hit to her, then they could get another run. Okay, he's 49 power. All right, we can put Angela in the outfield temporarily. Um, yeah, I'd much rather have Annie in the infield. Here, Charlie Brown, here you go. Here you go, Charlie Brown. It's your time to shine. Slow ball's right down the middle. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. No, Annie, are you... S no. No, Annie, you cannot be serious. What is going on? Well, they were stupid, so we still got a double play, but wow! Are you for real with what just happened there? No, we're not. Also, Mar Marky got decked in the face. Oh, yes, that's what we need. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. I'm not sure if I'm more embarrassed for Annie's flub or Marky's flub. Ready now. Here's the pitch. Walk, Kenny. Please walk. If if you walk Kenny, I will crazy bunt with Pete. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe it'll be smarter to save it for Reese. <sighs> the Kenny special. Wheel Kenny. Doggone it! They're too good. Oh boy, weird, weird voice time. <laughs> Is there a specific request for the weird voice? Is it ass assistant coach? Okay, <laughs> assistant coach time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Pete. You got this, okay? You can get the grounder, just get a single, and then Reese Worthington. Wow, okay. That was just a phenomenally bad timing on my part. I distracted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but listen, we can get a single, and then Reese Worthington can crazy bunt. This will be... Okay, Pete, you can't keep fouling it. All right, buddy? We can't have this, all right? Not in, not in my baseball game. You got it. You got to get on first base. Okay, yeah. That that was that was literally in the uh the opening indicator. That was so low. Good job not throwing your swing at that. I believe in you, Pete. I believe in you. You are the co you are the team captain. You hit that amazing reality breaking home run last game. A simple grounder to get the first this is effortless for you. That looked like it was way too high up to possibly be a strike. <laughs> Was it my imagination, or was that ball, like, way above the strike zone, but then they just warped it down to the bottom and were like, nope, that was a strike. Very stupid. This is pretty bad, actually. I don't want to use the crazy bunt. I've got this game figured out. Watch me go. I think we might have to, though, just to, just to get Pablo up next. I'm not crazy bunting on that. I hate crazy bunting when it's just one person. But this is our best chance to potentially get ahead in the game. There we go. That was not particularly crazy, especially since I think he's got a huge arm. At least we got a double. If we have another crazy bunt, I will actually crazy bunt with Pablo. Because at the very least, that should tie up the game. Yep, yeah, we're actually crazy bunting with Pablo. I need to get that point. Probably too low? Nope. That should have been too low. Reese can get a bit of a head start, because I think he's getting a little tired. Man, this is this became a very tense game very quickly. There we go. There we go. Now the 
Crazy Bun just can't screw me over. Yes! Oh, that was a great Crazy Bun. That, I think that's an inside the park home run. Oh, yeah, and they're pushing each other out of the way. Yes, that's an inside the park home run. And nobody's even at the home plate! <laughs> wow! Yes! <laughs> that was the perfect Crazy Bun right there. Who moves in when Pablo's up at bat? We have another one. We're not using it for Angela. Wow, free crazy bunts? For a for a double play that probably shouldn't have even happened, but alright. <laughs> Five people were in. Five people were in the outfield. That's fine. Oh wait, I just realized. If as long as we can prevent them from getting points. We win the game. We don't even get to play an extra inning. Wow. Alright. Angela, you can come back in the infield now. Annie, after your disgraceful play, I am sorry to say that Charlie Brown is a better fielder than you are. <laughs> Stephanie was the catcher and went into the outfield. That's hilarious. Easy out! Way to go, Marky! You always catch the ball, except when you got hit in the face there. Did we get a nice pack for Marky when he got clobbered in the face by that one ball? Wow, nice hit, Jordan. But you're not going to beat Marky to the base. Actually, you might. Because Marky is slow as molasses! <laughs> that was Marky's dad who yelled that. He gets way too into the game. Okay, you are you go for a lot of bats this way, don't you? <laughs> this got scary. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot! Oh, wow! Dude! That's game! Reese with the epic play at the end. Nice job, Reese! We didn't even have to use all of our crazy bunts. This is fantastic. These kids really deserve this victory. They Did a we? Great game out there. Until next time, this is Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch signing off. Okay, was it my imagine that game was really fast? That game took less than forty minutes to complete. Wow. That. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't even necessarily want to say Pablo came in clutch at the end. The crazy bun came in clutch, but Pablo did too, and so did Reese. I gotta say, guys. Reese Worthington MVP probably today. Reese actually did pretty fantastically. He didn't really have any big fielding errors. And he he was he, he was pretty good. That was good. <laughs> Angela, don't look so smug. You messed it up so bad. No, Reese, that you you did very well today. My name is Reese Worthington. I have asthma, you know, and I can't leave home without my medicine. Well, that's good. I, I don't want you I don't want you be having trouble breathing on field, Reese. So you get that inhaler with you. Absolutely. <laughs> the AI players chase balls. It's affected by the player's aggression. Stephanie's aggression is 93? Oh, that's that's interesting. I feel like the only person who should have an insane highly high aggression rating would be, like, Lisa Crockett. Maybe, like, Ronnie if he's in a bad mood. I don't know. But, wow! We, we won! So we are now undefeated 9-0... Rangers are still freaking 9-0, so of course it's going to come down to the next game to see who will be the sole undefeated team of the league. Tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, it's going to be us versus the Rangers. That will definitely be interesting. Expos are 7-0. Reds have lost once. Interesting. Ooh, the wild card race. Wow, that's a close one. Definitely close. Lisa's aggression is only 8. Stephanie should not have a higher aggression stat than Lisa Crockett, I would not say. Lisa's supposed to be like the silent killer, you know? Alright, well that that worked pretty well. Ray Tran with the most home runs. Ooh, Ray Tran, I'm going to kick your butt on Wednesday. Ooh, Ray Tran, I'm so good. I just I just get the best. I'm the number one in every single spot on here except errors. I'm just, I'm just so good. I, I'm, I'm so incredible, even though my stats shouldn't indicate that. Ray Tran, you're going down. Ray Tran, who I have the most hits? Do you have the most hits, Pete Wheeler? I don't think so. Well, Pete's right behind you, and so is Pablo, so we're going to we're gonna overturn that. Oh, I have ten doubles. Do, how many doubles do you have? Do you have as many doubles as Ray Tran? I, I know, but <laughs> shut up. You don't have any triples, I see. 
Uh, Sidney Weber has free, but you don't. Oh, but I have the most runs batted in. Eat it, Pablo. Texas Rangers Ray Tran. I'm just, I'm just so good. <laughs> I'm just so good. Oh, look at this. Run scored. I'm number four. Oh, uh, I'm going to beat Pete Wheeler one day. I'm going to beat, beat Sidney Weber sometime. Oh, look, I have the... Is that me? Is that me with the highest batting average in the league? Why, why yes. Well, yes, I, it is me with the highest batting average in the league. I'm just so much better than you. Oh, look, I also have the highest slugging percentage. I don't even know what the heck slugging percentage is, but it's good. <laughs> and I'm number one. Yeah, well, Pete Wheeler's got 13 steals to your zero, Ray Tran. And, oh, look, Angelo Delvecchi has got 45 strikeouts. Have you even been on the pitcher's mound, Ray Tran? Have you? Have you been on the pitcher's mound? I didn't think so. <laughs> so there. Yeah, we're going to kick Ray... Ch I don't even care. Well, I was going to say, I don't even care if we lose tomorrow. I definitely care if we lose on Wednesday. I definitely want to be the sole undefeated team in the league. But I really just want to make Ray Tran eat it. <laughs> In reality, Ray Tran's a super chill guy who does super cringy dances and loves having fun. <laughs> I know literally nothing about professional. So here's the thing. Ray Tran, I don't even know if he's a pro or one of those just random one-off kids. Like, that's just on the team. If he's an actual real-life person who's a professional baseball player, then uh, Ray Tran, if you're watching this, I, I don't actually hate you. Nothing but love, man. Like... <laughs> And also, I'm humbled that you're watching this. I'm, I'm literally just doing this for entertainment value because I know nothing about you. I'm sure you're a very swell person in real life. <laughs> oh, he's a generic with a personality you made up. Oh, okay. So there's not a real baseball player named Ray Tran. Okay, nobody should be offended <laughs> then. If, well, that's a way to end Backyard Baseball, I guess. Just going on this epic rant about a character who I know nothing about. <laughs> oh, Ray Tran, I'm so great. I'm just so incredible, so special. Ray Tran is going to, to do it all. <laughs> that's going to be my Ray Tran. Actually, that's literally just my generic obnoxious guy voice, to be honest. So, <laughs> I don't know if it'll stick, but... We'll just have to see what Ray Tran is like on Wednesday. That's going to do it for Backyard Baseball Game 9, though. Thank you all for joining in. Definitely a low-scoring game. Definitely a quick game, but I'm, I'm definitely glad we pulled ahead at the last second. Thank you, Crazy Bunt. <laughs> I really appreciate it.